Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch and let's get ready to rumble! Yes, today we're going to do a battle between two game engines. The first one is the almost infamous Dagger Engine. The second one you may have never heard of. It is something called Unreal Engine, but let's start off with the Dagger Engine. Now of course I am kidding here. There's a good chance you've probably never heard of the Dagger Engine. Uh, it was actually open sourced in 2023. It is from Gaijin Entertainment. Now the most famous thing from Gaijin Entertainment you have probably heard of is this guy right here, War Thunder. War Thunder is basically, I believe it's a classified documents leaking simulator, uh, something like that. Anyway, no, it's a massively online war game for doing tanks and airplanes and warships, etc. Um, I'm a World of Tanks guy myself, but this is a very popular game that has, you know, tens of thousands of active players at a time, maybe even hundreds of thousands. So super successful game in that regard. A lot of the other things that you're seeing here probably haven't so much heard of quite as much. Now, I believe they're based out of Hungary, Gajin. Uh, so some of a, a bit of a, an Eastern European flair to some of the games that have been created using this engine. So going from uh, MOBA, uh, Moby Games, a uh, list of published games. Here you can see some of the other stuff here. The only one that you've probably heard of otherwise is the Il-2 Sturmovic Birds of Prey, one of the most successful flight simulators out there, uh, especially amongst the war peoples. Uh, but you'll also find a War Thunder Mobile is also created using it. So, uh, and x is the other one that I've heard of here. But there's been, uh, what is this? Oh, 16 games created using the Dagger Engine. Now, our other contender today, you again may have heard of them once or twice. It's called Unreal Engine. Yeah, Unreal Engine is kind of the, the ultimate AAA game engine out there. If you're not using a AAA game, if you're developing a AAA game, and you're not using your own in-house game engine, you are probably using Unreal Engine. I've covered Unreal so many times on this channel, you probably have a pretty good idea of the kind of features that are packed into Unreal Engine at this point in time. And you might find this a little bit shocking, but there have been a couple of games created using Unreal Engine. Uh, here is a list, again, this is Moby Games list. This is specifically for Unreal Engine 5. You get some big profile things like Dragon Ball, uh, Sparkling Zero in here, Frostpunk games, uh, and so on. And we're at uh, page one of three. Now do keep in mind there's literally thousands of games that were created using Unreal Engine 4, but we got a number of really popular things in here as well. Pal World before they get completely sued into the ground by Nintendo. We've got Remnant, uh, Satisfactory, and so on. Squirrel with a Gun, probably the greatest game that came out in 2024. So definitely a number of published titles on the Unreal Engine side of the equation. And this, ladies and gentlemen, can you tell me what this is? This is is a grain of salt, a singular grain of salt. And it's one of those things I want you to keep in your mind as we get into the next part of this video and the reason why we are talking about all this in the first place. Now, Gaijin Entertainment, once again, in 2023, open sourced their game engine. It's available under the BSD3 license. You can use it, develop your own game. You don't have to pay them a cent. And what you'll see here is they've done this updated demo. Basically, they're showcasing the capabilities of the Dagger engine. So where does Unreal Engine come into this? Well, they're also... Um, so, thrilled to release the full code of one of Dagger Engine multiplayer frameworks under um, permissive license along with the art sources of one of the multiplayer samples. Also provided a set of two demos showing how the same map made for one of Gaijin's unannounced games works on Dagger Engine and the Unreal Engine, uh, so Unreal Engine 5, a platform renowned for its cutting edge graphics and features. So, they did a demo for both of the engines. They actually hired out someone to do the one. Uh, so obviously they're going to have more competence with their own engine. We'll come back to this in just a second, but let's go check out those two comparisons. So these are both available as direct downloads. Uh, one is about two gigabytes in size. The other one is, I think, about four gigabytes in size. We're watching right now. This is running in Dagger Engine. Gives you an idea of the capabilities of the engine. By the way, this is running on my Legion Pro 7, a 4090 mobile, 64 gigs of RAM. So not a bad machine by any means, but again, a mobile GPU for comparison. Now you're going to notice one thing. I noticed this a couple times through the demo. It's going to come up in just a second, but you're going to get some light bleed uh, through the wall. Uh, and I think it's in this room right here. Yeah, you can see light splits through the wall yeah, right there. Uh, it happens a couple of times throughout the demo, but otherwise it does look really sharp. Uh, we'll come back to some of the details from the announcement earlier on, but this is running in Dagger Engine. Now, the weird thing is with this direct comparison between um, Unreal and Dagger, they use the same environment to a degree, but it's not actually the same layout. So I couldn't apples to apples compare you, unfortunately, because they actually used slightly different layouts. But you can see the frame rate down at the bottom. It seems to be locking around 60 frames per second. So I don't know if that's uh, a limitation they've put in or otherwise. But now here we are on the Unreal Engine game side of things. 
And now we have a gun for some reason. Uh, so again, the layout is different uh, of the map orientation. So I shouldn't, couldn't give you the exact same path between the two, uh, simply because again, they didn't do exactly the same levels, or at least they didn't start us in the same spot. But I tried to create the process somewhat the same. Now you're gonna notice little bursts in speeds. That's because for some reason I decided for this one, every once in a while I got bored. So I held down the shift key and did a bit of a run. Uh, so this is the game created using Unreal Engine. Uh, different effects. Now, I do notice that traditional uh, Unreal motion blur, temporal anti-aliasing thing that I, I think everybody recognizes at this point in time, especially when I do fast transitions. It, it makes things look a little bit muddy. Um, I also think they might be doing upsampling in this case, so something like FSR or similar or DLSS, well as they don't do the same thing on their version. But I'm not 100% certain on that. But this was an attempt to basically show the two side by side. And again, you can see the frame rates at the top. Both of them held a pretty constant 60-ish frames per second. Second. Um, and both look good. Uh, definitely have different lighting scenarios going on. But this is kind of to showcase that um, the whole idea is that the Dagger engine is capable of doing everything that Unreal Engine is as well. So a little bit more technical detail of what's going on here. Uh, Gaijin Entertainment is thrilled to release the full code of one of Dagger Engine multiplayer frameworks under permissive license along with the art sources of one of the multiplayer samples. We'll also publish a set of two demos showing how the uh, same map made for Gaijin's unannounced game works on Dagger Engine and Unreal Engine 5, a platform renowned for its cutting edge graphics and features. The initiative uh, follows our decision to release the Dagger Engine as open, uh, free and open source software that happened a year ago. Uh, at first, we asked our partners from Hook's Creative Studio to create an FPS map inspired by the iconic maps of the past. This map was built by them from scratch using mega scans and modern photogrammetry assets on Unreal Engine 5. Their team then ported this into Dagger Engine for their unannounced new game. Uh, since we have it already implemented in Unreal Engine, we can use it for comparison and as an uh, internal validation of our technology, and we decided to share both versions with the game development enthusiasts. Uh, as for now, there was no additional authoring, such as specular probes, occluders, portals, etc., made for performance optimizations or enhanced visual. Uh, with utilization of some of those, performance can be improved even further. We intentionally uh, mostly used automated exporting steps except for train, which is so different between engines that we had to re-implement it, and some uh, decals or object placement, which was purely uh, uh, was adjusted by purely subjective preference. Uh, our results suggest that Dagger runs the map faster, delivering equal or arguably pure speculative uh, superior visual fidelity. This includes leveraging state-of-the-art technologies such as real-time global illumination and advanced anti-aliasing. No vendor-specific performance-enhancing techniques such as DLSS, XESS, or FSR, all of which Dagger supports, are being used. And Dagger Demo, unlike Unreal Engine 1, operates in native resolution in most configurations. So this line right here is what makes me think that they are doing some kind of an upsampling. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell from the exact language there. Again, you take the direct comparison with that giant grain of salt I provided earlier on. Uh, in most configurations, aiming to demonstrate the engine's raw power and vendor agnostic efficiency. We understand this isn't a perfectly fair apples to apples comparison as the Unreal Engine version could likely be further optimized by experienced developers. Nevertheless, we hope this public release of both demos will inspire the community to explore Dagger Engine's capabilities and potential. We are committed to continue providing the community with more and more tools to create and innovate. And here you see, you've got the download available for the Dagger Engine, the Unreal Engine, and of course the Dagger Engine tools, multiplayer samples, etc. as a zip compiled ready to Go version. Now, this again is an entirely open source project now. It is available under the BSD3 license, which is true open source. Um, no real strings attached. The, 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 all the binders, everything we just saw there are available under the releases as are the demo. And yeah, that is Dagger Engine's uh, repository. Uh, on top of that, what well, you might be interested, if you want to dig into this a bit, for example, um, the sample we just looked at here is the uh, character movement scripts. Uh, for handling navigation around the world, like so, uh, implemented using their own scripting language. So here you can see input handling, the logic available there. So uh, this new demo does seem to be available. It's under Dagger Engine, under Samples, DNG Scene Viewer. Uh, that's where it gets a little bit um, not as obvious as you might think, but this is where all of the uh, all of that demo seems to have existed. So if you want to go ahead and check it out yourself. Uh, it is available here, and then you go into like the scripts area, and that's where all the various different things are available in their scripting language. So if you want to see uh, what the entry point looks like, I do believe there is a main here at some point, but this does appear to be uh, exactly where all of this happened, and this does seem to be the heart of it, 
uh, is this scene viewer that loads in the scripts and the character controller, etc., and loads up the level. Now, one of those things you're going to challenge with Dagger Engine is there is there is documentation, but it is lacking. There's not a huge community around it. Should you choose Dagger over Unreal Engine? Well, the biggest reason I can think of is no fees at all, uh, and it's it's proven. So if you're trying to create a game like War Thunder, well, obviously War Thunder can be created using Dagger Engine because War Thunder was created using Dagger Engine. Uh, but for most people. Probably not. There, there is a reason why uh, Unreal Engine has a thousand times the size of community, maybe even tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of times the size of community. Uh, but it is definitely one of those engines you want to be aware of. And if enough of communities form around it, the documentation will get better, the community will get better, and all of that. So Dagger Engine is definitely one of those ones you should consider having on your radar. All right, so that was Dagger Engine versus Unreal Engine. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.